This video details about nursing audit. Nursing services are necessary for every patient seeking care of any type, including health promotion, diagnosis, and treatment. With the changing trends in healthcare delivery, the role of nurse manager is becoming largely devoted to the holistic care of client, which can only be achieved through careful appraisal of the services in order to make further reforms. What is meant by audit? Audit compares actual practice to a standard of practice. So there are two things. One already predetermined standard of practice and the actual practice. Actual practice is compared with the predetermined standard of practice. That is called an audit. Otherwise, it is defined as a process to analyze and evaluate something. Coming to meaning of nursing audit, it is defined as the evaluation of nursing care in retrospect through analysis of nursing records. The already given nursing care is analyzed or evaluated by the analysis of nursing records. That is called the nursing audit in one way. In other way, according to Ellison, nursing audit refers to the assessment of quality of clinical nursing. Assessment of quality of clinical nursing is nursing audit. Coming to five important purposes behind nursing audit. Number one, evaluate nursing care given as we have seen in the definitions. Second, achieves desired and feasible quality of nursing care. Third, it is a stimulant to better record keeping or better documentation. Fourth one, it focuses on care provided and on the care provider so that they can improve their service and also finally contributes to research and nursing body of knowledge. Coming to essential characteristics of nursing audit. As we have already seen, it must be based on predetermined standards of care. Then there must be measurement of actual practice. Then the measured practice have to be analyzed for findings or result. Then based on the finding, there must be corrective action taken. Again, the effectiveness of corrective action needs to be assessed and evidence must be maintained. Then finally, there must be appropriate reporting of the audit program for record keeping or later review. These are the essential characteristics when a nursing is conducted. Now we will see the different methods for nursing audit. The first method is called a retrospective view. In this method, an in-depth assessment of quality of nursing care is assessed once the patient is discharged and it uses the patient's chart as the sources of data. The patient is already discharged after receiving care from the patient. Then the existing records or nurses documentation are reviewed for assessing the quality. That is called a retrospective view. The second view is concurrent view. This is just opposite of retrospective view where the auditing is done when the patient is still undergoing or receiving care in the hospital. It includes assessment of the patient at the bedside in relation to the predetermined criteria or standard. Then interview the responsible staff of the care for the patient and review the patient record and care plan in detail. So assessment or review is done when the patient is still receiving care. That is concurrent auditing. Next to auditing is called the outcome based audit. Outcome is nothing but the end result of care. So what changes in the health status of the patient have occurred as a result of delivery of healthcare services is assessed. The changes in the health status of the patient is assessed in outcome audit. Fourth type is process audit. Process audit are used to measure the process of care given or how or the procedure of carrying out the patient care. The fifth type structure audit. Structure audit monitors the structure or setting in which the patient care occurs. It includes finances, number of nursing personnel, type of nursing service, number of shift, medical record keeping, documentation and environment etc. These are the five types of nursing audit.
Coming to nursing audit cycle or the steps involved in nursing audit. You can see here there are five steps. First one, identify the issue or the problem to be audited. Then, based on the problem, set predetermined criteria or standard. Then, observe the practice and collect the data regarding the actual practice of nursing care. Then, compare the observed practice with the already developed standard. Then, a group of findings or a result is obtained. Based on the result or based on the deviation that have occurred, take corrective action and implement change. And again, this cycle will continue. About the benefits of nursing audit, it serves a number of benefits to the nursing care delivery. First one, it improves the existing practice, creating real benefits in patient care and service delivery. Second, there is an openness to change. An area where change is required is identified and that is communicated to all. So, where the, wherever there is a change needed, that is open to all. Third, it provides quality assurance, meeting evidence-based best practice. Then, here there is an opportunity to listen to the patient and understanding their expectation. It also leads to the development of local guidelines or protocol to improve quality of nursing care. Then it minimizes error or harm to the patients because every staff will be focused to deliver quality care and thereby it reduces incidents, complaints and claims. These are the benefit of nursing audit. Coming to some of its limitations, some of the staff may consider it as a punishment to them or to their service. Many of the components of active practice are difficult for analysis. It is a time-consuming procedure. It requires a team of trained auditors. Thus, we have seen the different aspects of nursing audit, including the definition, purposes, characteristics, methods, cycle, benefits and limitation. Here is the end of this short video. Thanks for watching.